Hey everybody, it's Jay, and it's time to talk about your flare. On 15 pieces of flare, we're going to show you all some ways to spruce up that game room. Now I don't know if your guys' game room group is anything like mine, but sometimes we have a hard time choosing what games to play, and most of the time we never pick the brand new games to play. So I thought up of a little bit of a way to alleviate that issue and help you choose what games to play and make sure you get what games you really need to play played instead of just overlooking them. So let's check it out. All right, for this project, we're gonna need some 550 paracord. We're gonna need a hammer, some small nails, a paper and pen, and some mini clothes pins. Now to start, we're gonna need to remove the inner strands of the paracord. There's like seven individual strands inside one long length of paracord. So you're just gonna remove the outer shell and pull those inner strands out. And then just get one of those strands. Then on one of those strands, tie an overhand knot on one side. An overhand knot is just loop the string around and then loop it around itself and pull it through. Now, the nails you wanna use, you wanna get ones with a little bit of a head on. Now go ahead and nail both nails where you want the string to hang. Now put the knotted side of the line over one nail. Then get the length you need and then give yourself a little bit of slack and then tie another overhand knot on that side of the string. Once you have your overhand knot, go ahead and loop it onto the nail. Then you can cut off the excess string from both sides. Now you can start writing all of your games on the individual pieces of paper. Or you can just write whatever games you absolutely want to get played first down on paper. Now when you write this stuff down, you can go as far as you want with the detail. You can put player count, um, game length, anything that really matters to you and your group and whatever is applicable to you and your group. You can write that information down on the paper and then that way it might be easier for you to pick what games you want to play come game night. Now go ahead and clip all of your clothes pins onto your line. Now I'm kind of OCD so I kind of had to have mine in a specific pattern but you can do it however you want. Now clip the games you want to get played next onto your line. Now I had to flare mine up a little bit you know because that's just who I am so I printed off all my box art covers cut them out, laminated them, and that's what I'm using. Then once you got all the games that you really want to get played next, like for me, it's just all my games on my shelf of shame, you can go ahead and pick what game you want next, pull that one down, put that one away, and then get to play in that game. Boom! There you have it. A quick and easy way to add some flair to your game. Now the way I thought up of doing this is in the restaurant industry you have a ticketing system so like when you write an order you put it in a slide or actually some restaurants even do use a line and clip them on there just like this but that's pretty much it whatever orders need done you do those orders pull them down throw the ticket away or spike it or whatever and this is the same thing whatever games need played you pull the game or you put the games up first of all that you want to get played so if you want to play your shelf of shame games only hang those games if you want to play your favorite games, but make sure you get a good variety, hang those games. And then, no matter what, when it's time to pick a game, you have to pick one of the games that are on that line, as long as it's applicable to your group and everything. But if anybody wants a tutorial or really just wants me to print them some of those um, box covers and laminated, shoot me a message on social media. If anybody has any um, suggestions of games or ideas they'd like me to make in a sim flare, Leave them in the comments below or shoot me a message anywhere on social media. And everybody, I started a new podcast. It's called Board Games Outsider. I interview industry professionals about the jobs that they do and maybe have them give some tips and tricks and what they did to get the job. So that way, anybody that wants to do the job that they have, they have all the knowledge from somebody who does the job on actually how to get their job or or a job that's just like it. So if that sounds interesting to you, check that out on any um, podcasting platform. That's Board Games Outsider. Hey, don't forget everybody, 15 pieces of flair is the bare minimum. Some people choose to do more and we encourage that. Have fun everybody.